tip ready to head back out onto Groundbreaker and see what we can do. I think we will take Ellie and Felix this time. And then we'll pick Bravati up when we're ready to go to engineering. I think it selected them, but it wasn't looking like it. again. There we go. Just to take them out for a spin and see how they can interact with what we find around here, seeing as they know the area. Wanted, dead or alive, Captain McCreed. All right. Uh, we already know that. All right, well, I was hoping for something more. Uh, what mission are we on? Should probably remember that. Well, oh, speak with Gladys. We'll start with this one. Uh, right, we gotta go inside further. This will knock you out, boss. A CCN 76 milk chocolate bar with caramel and pea free nuts in it. It's time for a KYL. No one wants them, I'll take them. Spacer. I believe we already checked that out. And I believe we already checked up there. And that's just out. Hey! convince you all to temporarily go blind? So it has to be from the front angle that it has to be done. That's not going to work well. Alright, hey. I was uh, told to come speak with you. Might have a few moments of your time. If you're not too busy. Hey, um... Associate of yours sent me to you. Hello? Bless my heart. 
a stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Yes, I needed to speak with you. I was told you'd have some information that could uh, help on my current tasks. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven, just like store-bought. Uh, would you happen to uh, have some goods we might be able to trade? I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Ooh. That's not a throw pillow. Wow. Here we go. Hmm. Interesting info. Oh, that one didn't give us something to read. All right. Four thousand salvagers helper. Good damage, but mm -hmm. don't know that we want to spend all our money right now on one item. Yeah, that didn't even scratch it. Um, one other thing about that associate I mentioned. I guess I better mention his name. I was trying to avoid it. Great law, is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands acting up again? No, it's warm. I'm gonna look into what's going on with that later as well. But uh, a friend of ours uh, sent me. Do you happen to have a key for Stellar Bay? Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Ah, uh, well, since I don't have 10,000 bits, yeah. Tell me about the opportunity. Well... I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... more of flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Let's have the details. Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Interesting. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Wonder what kind of haul they left behind. An abandoned outpost? You think it's haunted? Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Alright, well, I'll go take a look then. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. 
If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. All right, well, abandon out post corporate secrets. Let's see what I can do. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Okay, you know about any other jobs? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Alright, well thanks. We'll see you for another time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Alright, well. Definitely wouldn't mind getting into that. But. There's that. I don't want to lose the XP, but that tells us how quickly they jump. Don't even give you a moment. Let's see... not good armor. And not good armor. another key. Do we use the keys? Oh, uh, okay, so it looks like we used them. Disappointing. So I need to find one more rest and go key. Just seeing if it was in here. Didn't think it was.
230. That's not too bad. Alright. Well, I don't want melee weapons, and 230 is less than all but that one. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we can switch over to that if we meet some bots. There we go. Hey, I have some stuff for you to buy off me if you're all right with that. Ooh, someone has got to talk with Chief Tennyson about the thermostat around here. Ooh, ain't gonna be me. So, you buying? Yeah. Ellie, my mind, but it's been a while. How's that whisper muzzle working out for you? I sold it. Didn't seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't bite back. All right, so it looks like I have the up checking it. I think I'm going to have to reseat my GPU or something because it's acting funky. But hey, back to this. Uh, let's see. Let's see what you got. Kind of like it, at least one of those. But they look cool, and they don't do as much, so let's not. Hmm, we already went over there. We still need to go to Sublight. We need to go to engineering. Is there somewhere else we need to go? Ready to talk to them. Talk to you. You have some armor. Cleo's is a bot. I don't think we actually talked to the bot. RT greeting, potential hey. customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. You know there's a body in your kitchen, right? This unit would clarify. There is a dead mechanic in the kitchen. User error in the maintenance of this unit's cutlery engaged several systems at once. The slicer, the grinder, the tenderizer. So, do you plan on cleaning it up? This unit is not designated for cleaning duties and cannot be compelled to accept another unit's responsibilities. Okay, that sounds like a pretty nasty bug, by the way. This unit behaves precisely as it was engineered. Neither this unit nor its corporate proprietor claim any responsibility for the mess. All right, goodbye for now. Wow. Have you seen this man? 
Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Meh. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Uh, where's that leading? Okay, so UDL and Sublight don't like each other is a potential thing. Wish that gave XP, which apparently it doesn't. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? That's right. I'm Hawthorne. But how did you know? Money. We got it. The Steve Doors wanted. I'll take that as a yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. Uh, take it you two know each other, but uh, what happened to your leg? A bullet went through it, most of the way. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. So, are you a sublight employee? Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Alright, I should go. She has a lookout over the area. I see. Don't think it'll work, but I want to try. What do you think you're doing? Oh, nothing, sorry. Because I use personality a lot, let's not. Yeah, alright. I'm going.
Not even that crate of loot. See what kind of rep we're at with them. If it's just one person, I think I'll live with it. Uh, deserters, yeah, because we did the other thing. And for shipping supply salvage, yeah. On my way. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Oh no, never heard of you. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. It's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Hawthorne? Never heard of him. You're two for two on playing dumb so far, Captain. Not a good start. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But now you're speaking. there's a catch. Wouldn't be much fun without one. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? What's so special about Stellar Bay? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off-world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I don't have a nav key yet, but, you know, I'll still take the job if that's alright with you. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. So just quickly, strictly speaking, sublight isn't strictly salvage, correct? These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. So what kind of other sectors are sublight interests other than salvage and shipping, may I ask? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Sounds complicated, but profitable. I know what you mean. Good boy. Knew you'd understand. All right, well, I think that's it for now. Take care, and I guess we'll be back. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Always. See? Well, I guess I am being followed. I got this one and that one. Did you guys see anyone? Okay. Since we're, you know, talking with people, I should probably take the mask off. 
No? Yeah, you're right. Let's hide identity. It's more fun that way. see where this goes. We need to grab that poster from the bar. He's a wanted man. Should we play nice or not play nice? Meh, let's go talk to him, see what we find out. Hey McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Hey, I know this guy. Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. I thought you were gonna say something about this guy. You wanna talk? So... Felix says he knows you. What's going on down here? I'm new to the ground. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. First, I'm gonna... Hey, Felix! Look, everyone, it's Felix! Well, hey there, your lordship. Good to see you again. Of course you two know each other. Seeing you here feels like old times. Now, what brings you down to my sprat infested broom closet of a kingdom? Felix, you know this guy. Sure, everybody knows Captain McCred, terror of the back bays and purveyor of rare fungi. Felix is a good kid. Bad habits, poor judgment, awful taste. But we like him down here. So I saw your letter from uh, Rizzo. Galactic mushroom sounds like a great bre beverage. They rejected it again, didn't they? I thought I could take my fungus garden and go corporate, you know? Damn. Well, maybe I'm better off. So how did you end up down here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded, and my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Sounds a lot like what happened to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. All right, I'll be seeing you. Any friend of Felix is free to wander, but I got eyes on you. The second floor is my place. Off limits to the likes of you. Whatever business brings you down to my domain, keep it local. No, no reason I switch armor. None. How did you see that? What do you think you're doing? Nothing. All right, fine. Get out of here. I'm not doing anything. I'm leaving. So nice. Oh, and I don't think we lost any rep. At least it didn't say we lost any rep. Look, Red gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been tripping for days. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy as he is. It takes crazy to live in this universe. 
Not another step in that direction, friend. Crazy cosmos. Ah, got full of that shit. Where did that shooting pistol go? Shoot on sight, Jester. What? Today's my birthday. Oh yeah? Fuck your birthday. So... What are you guys feeling like? Let's head back out and see what happens. Uh, 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 uh. Will you pretend you didn't see us? Because I'll pretend you didn't see anything. You get that automatic patch? I'm afraid once it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? He hasn't got a heart? It's not like us. What? They're still hostile. Well, I want to quickly check around the area first. Shh, easy now. Not sure how they're so skilled with vision, especially when his back is turned. Ooh, smells like burning meat and bad hygiene. McGrad wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? He hasn't got a heart? Not like us. Step in that direction, friend. Uh, all right, I wasn't going to the stairs. I was checking out the dead bot. Yeah, how? How does he see? Whatever. Can I take you? Nothing. Oh well. If you were one of the original colonists, this place would have been your home. Yup. This place looks familiar to me. Um, because I've seen one before, that's why, yeah. What is your damage at? 82. Bah. Oh, I was quickly going to go... Here we go, UI. That back on so we can evaluate the base item stats so we know if it's actually an improvement or not. So, yeah, 71. Yeah, certainly. Because then we can go over here. 205 is base, so it definitely is better. 238. 280 is better. But her modified was better with that.
forgot I was gonna check his. Yeah. All right. Mainly I wanted that for the armors when I get them, so I can actually see if it is better or not, so we know what to grab for our companions, because I would like to give them helmets for armor and then just have it disabled, and then we can, you know, pop them into armor when we go into combat, and then back into their attire when we're not. Can I go down, or are you going to yell at me for going down? Okay, good. We can go down. Are you guys going to get mad if I open this? One of the virtues cleaning You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. That may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. So what brings you to the back bay? You'd probably be better off in engineering than down here, isn't that true? I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. I'm overweight. I think we sold the wrong one. Yeah, it's gonna keep that one. So we at least have one of them. That's a defensive in melee. Okay. guys in some armor for no particular reason. Really? Look, Red gave me a taste of the good stuff. I'm sure Careful with that shit. end up as crazy as me. I don't know. He's an outlaw. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? He did kill an engineer. Hmm. Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're?
are doing? Really nothing. And that's the reason I said really nothing. Well, it's actually the reason I picked it up. And then said really nothing. Let's keep going at it. No one else is going to say anything? I'm trying to get one of you guys to say something. There what you go. What do you go. think you're doing? Nothing. Alright, fine. Get out of here. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Best to make yourself scarce now. Now I have to hope the third guy. Okay, well that's not how I wanted that to go. I was trying to get the other guy to see me. Who's doing this? Okay. So not you, not you. Maybe it's you. Nope. I'm trying to get the third one. Alright, let's try up here again. No? Uh. She's gonna be the one to see it. Heads up! Yep. I, I just want you to stop me again so I can tell you I'm not doing anything. I don't see anything else we can grab. Well, since you're murderers, make him regret it. <laughs> All right. It is not the last of them. For a crime of murder against an engineer. You have been executed. Heading back. All right, well, they did a fairly good job. Moving. You got it. Heads up!
I'm on my way. That's what I have you around for. I don't do guns well. Upstairs. Sure. Take your best shot, asshole. Keep this up, and I won't have any new battle scars. Be right there. I mean, you can get all of those you want. I'm just trying to not get any. I do better without. All right, what were they so secretively hiding up here? I don't see anything of that importance. Oh, what's this? Radiator part. Cool. Bet we could do some good with these. Yeah. That's why we took it. Add cooling to our ship, maybe make it work better. Oh, the station. I wonder if the engineer lady wants this. Two, come on over here. We're gonna go up and you'll get to have some fun. I guess I'm honored. They're on us. I got another fight in me. Well, I tried using her ability and it didn't work. Two ready. On my way. Alrighty. So this is like this gun, but uses energy instead. Um. Does less for some reason. Looks cool. Meh, why not? Believe we'll it for now. Okay, yeah, yours is 
quite a bit better. Leave yours, yeah, 205 and one third. Yeah, not much better. You know what? I think we're gonna do that. Let's see, you do quite a bit less. Two thirty four. Four eighty six. There you go. You do two thirty eight. Eh. Shotgun's the only one that does better. And four, blech, nine, eleven. But five determination is not bad to have on hand. Five lock picking. I like this better because it's stealth. Block. That's actually kind of cool. Mainly because we don't have to wait. Do get a perk. I was like, do we get a perk at this level? And we do. Ten dialogue skills. Hmm. Oh, no companions. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that. That one might be worth doing. Increased five millimeter range. Restoration per kill, that's interesting. Ooh, that's nice. Felix gives us 11. Bonus support persuade. Additional 10. And 5 from Silvertone. Is he... Yeah. Bonus support persuade. That's what I thought. So he actually gives 21 total. That's nice. Is lying? Really? But she didn't have a boost to lie. She had a boost to medical, but she does boost lying. Yeah. Alright, well, cool. And silver so dunk kit for that one.
I did see, where was it? Wow, that's, that, that would be bad. This one though, this one, this one we want. Skill boost. You can get double damage with science weapons. It's not bad. You might have to do that. Because, you know, science weapons probably about the one type of weapon we can use. on the bottom. And the slow walk. Back to... Ooh! I missed that. I really like the extended range. It is so nice. So it does... Yeah. Wow, very nice. So we're gonna have a nice large area to help us not miss anything. We will always want that mod on our armor. Wonder if it's a full 10 meters or not. Ah, oh, that's just the light. It seems to be at least 10 meters, so that's awesome. definitely help us uh, make sure we find all the stuff. Let's go to the uh, security office because they had a bounty out for this guy. Turn in the bounty, get the Preacher and the mechanic, so Pravati and Vicar, and we'll come back and see what we can do, and we'll go from there. You know what? Hang it. We're gonna get negative one. Well, yeah. A negative one percent, because I'm afraid about this. And ready, set. Where, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Everyone get mad. Sorry, nothing, just leaving. I just don't want to mess around and wait to try to do it otherwise. Saw your bounty out front there. 
I want to know if we could speak Unless about it. Unless you're here it. to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Well, I'm actually interested in the bounty on Creedy. Where can I find it? Well, I already found it. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Well, how about his lighter? Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Is there any other bounties available? With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I could start something if you want. Just say the word. Look at my face, Felix. Do I look like I'm in a mood for your nonsense? Sorry about him. Certainly you don't. So what's it like working security detail here? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? All right, all right, easy. Calm down. Then get to business or get moving. Later. Well, she's angry. I guess it is kind of hot, they said. Yeah, probably why. Now, to get you two to walk a little quieter. It's all in the wrist. Just getting equipped for the job. Give him a little armor. Till, you know, make it better.
forgot we need to go back and sell some stuff. There we go. That was actually a little bit of fun. Ooh, another one. Nice. And that's the helmets that we have on the other side, I believe. Or is it a little better? Yeah, either way. 17 is better. But I want to make sure we don't have slightly better that we can get from another one. So we need two of them. the other two for the missions that we're on. So we will get them and Have come back. Have either of the assault cruisers ever put into Groundbreaker? You kidding? The chief wouldn't let a couple hundred board troops in here. I just figured there's so many people on them. They gotta get out and stretch them. Oh, there are some other ships. Okay. Ours is just the biggest. Today, Captain, the stars are the limit. True. But let's avoid the stars. We don't want to burn up. We were going to sell our light ammo. Let's go do that as well. Yeah, my GPU is going crazy. We're going to have to look at that after. Hopefully that'll help the stability. So, light. Eh, wasn't that much money, but it helps. Weapon parts. Two apiece. About. That's not bad. Uh, so half each or thereabouts. So they sell for two a piece, you get three, so that's six. So any item of oh, armor is worth more. Hmm. So any armor that's worth less than 9, we should break down. And any item gun worth 4 or less, we should break down. Which I don't think there's many, if any. You know the drill, Vicar. This is what you wanted. You ready? Before we go, let me check your gear. Ooh, 29. I was wrong. I'd forgotten I'd found those better helmets. 24. Alright, just act like we own the place. Alright. 
and all right. There now you go, that man. we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Yep. Let's step out where we are. Did you want to talk about the cartridge? Now that we're, you know, out of the secure room. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. There you go. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Okay, you hesitated there. Tell me what's going on. Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? This all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Uh, huh. All right, let's go. Body. I believe you wanted to see June Lay in engineering. That's where we're headed. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of the Ooh, yeah. All those lovely heat waves. This place is particularly warm. Hey. Uh, question. All right. Let's try to find that person we sent back. Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. Probably. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Can you walk back over there? Oh, all right. We'll talk to you. Hey, I have some uh, details. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Hey, I'm captain of the Reliable, recently unshackled. How's it going? Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Oh, I'll do whatever I can to try to keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Probably headed for Monarch. You know, big scary planet. Wanted to see what's there. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. So, I've heard you're heat having a heat problem. What exactly is going on with that? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. 
They're dumping superheated air into my ship. And you haven't fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. There's no room for compromise, or does the board, you know, want Groundbreaker to roast? They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Okay, well I found this. Will this work? Those are... Wow. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Remarkable. How did you... I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manipular infestation. Could you define slight to be prepared? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts right. from the ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. All right, I guess we'll head that way. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Interesting. <laughs> of course. Can I go in there and just shoot him? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Let's see. Groundbreaker is too negative. Okay. I guess we'll look with the two percent. I don't know why they have such wonderful vision, but all right, wait a minute. 
Sprats. You know, you'd think she would uh, give an orders to let me take a few things of ammo to help, you know, better equip us, but I guess not. Jobs, who use guns, I hide. Well, not hide, but stay in cover. You know what I mean. You guys can use guns, I can't. Go, go, go. Did I change your armor? I did. Vicar. Heading back. Good, good, good. Enjoy feeling like uh, you're the dinner. Let's roast in the oven. Like, Woo, ow, 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 ow. Here they come! Oh, sorry. down. Wow. 
Uh, where's the thing? Well, I'm not able to find it, so we'll just keep popping around here. The strong survive and the weak perish. There we go. cranky people. Oh, there you are. Let's get you out of those heavy gear. That should uh, let you guys feel a little more comfortable. She saw me way up there. I'll keep quiet. Yeah, like I thought. There's no way she should have seen from way over there. Oh, I want to, but I better not. going. Feel a little better now that the heat seems to be dissipating a little bit. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Yeah. So, uh, Pravati wanted to talk to you. So, here she is. Yeah, go on. You can talk to her. That's why I brought you here. You said you wanted to. So, just have at it. It's no big deal. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Okay. 
since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Don't worry about asking for time off if you need to compare notes in person. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Alright, we'll be on our way. Here we go. Level up. Hack up would be nice. Taking the Vicar for hacking is definitely good. Bravati actually gives decent bonus to Persuade as well. So Bravati or Felix. Vickers and Intimidator. Okay. This is bonus support medical. Didn't think I'd still have that active. I thought I'd have... Engineering. Do you get the bonus support, whether they're with you or not? Hmm, I have to keep an eye on that, because that's cool. So, so two, four, so I kind of like that because then we could just repair items break the others down and try to boost their value. Sounds awesome. See that? I'm just, I don't know. Not bad, but. Gonna be doing that a lot. And I 
want these up, but I'm not too worried about these aspects. So I don't care about these aspects, but I want these higher for their actual dialogue abilities. Yeah, why not? We'll just get that bumped, because then we can focus. We definitely still want to be able to lockpick, though, because you never know when they're going to give you that issue, but we don't need to bump that anymore. gets that squared away so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Hey, I was told that you wanted to talk to us about some task that you had or needed help with. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh, why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No, wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. So why are you about to lose your calm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to, you know, get the auxiliary back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I guess I could check that out for you. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? What do you mean? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. So you just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? 
It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Okay, well I'm off. Strange. Well, let's head on out and see what's next on our agenda. Let's see. Gladys, right. to drop these off. Well, that was a mistake. I'll tell you. Alright, and... Good. Uh, you cost... yeah. Did we need to talk to anyone else here? See if I can pull it off him. Yeah, see, tell him we feel his pain at least. Hey. We get that off somehow. Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Hey, we're wearing the same hat. I got you too? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, same hat. Uh, how right you are. Looks really good on you. What a snug fit on your giant head. Hope you're very happy in there. You think he means it? As a consumer-facing representative of Spacer's Choice, I'm obligated to project honest testimony, including what I just said. Yeah, totally. Wear it with pride, with hope. No one can take that away from you. Yeah, well, you're logged in on a public terminal. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. 
Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of Spacer's Choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Who needs privacy when you have job security? All right, I'll see you. Well, let's trade. Uh, have a look. Hmm. Ooh, I jumped way too quick. Henry. Corrosion? That could be fun. science weapons and when will we get a science weapon It's like saying it's going to cost 44 parts. Can I even buy parts from you? I can. Whoa. Your markup is horrible. So you can buy them for 21 apiece. And sell them for 4 apiece. Wow. I'm... Okay. That's... Cheap. That's terrible. 21 to 4. Mm -mm. Do I have the money? Eh, let's go do the mission. This is Halcyon... Rizzo's Purple Daddy Crunch. Oh, Rizzo. Flavored Power Nuggets. Now with 12% more crunch. Yeah, this takes... The same, you four parts. So... 80. Yeah. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Oh. 
Whoop. I didn't quite catch that. What'd you say? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Forgive me, What's Captain. Up? I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? Um. I was curious how he improved your design. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. Interesting. And where'd you come from originally? The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once. Alex did not build me and would not say who did. Interesting. Well, I think you should. But, uh, let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Can you play back a distress signal? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain. We are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. All right, thank you. We'll talk later. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the relay, and then we'll go and take care of that. Pew! Who wants to come? Yeah, we'll take those two for now, since we already have them selected. Armor up. It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. This is an unmanned station. Do that. All right. Wish we could take it. Hmm.
I will become. Bard, come on. Oh, all the red went offline. How nice. because I hack. All right, whispers, no oh, fun. Can I take you? Reprogram you? That's nice. We definitely have plenty of things that we can spend our money on. Let's see. The whispers, the source. Sam, can I take you and have two Sam? I mean, you can't tell me that with how uh, bright Hawthorne was and his capabilities to redo the Sam unit that I shouldn't be able to. <sighs> oh, gosh. He's dead. Here we go. Uh, it smells like yeah. old blood. We need to look out for DLF. Because he definitely looked to be a wealthy individual. There's lots of money for fancy things. Ah, shortcut back. So we had two shortcuts now. Oh, yeah, we read that. Great work. Ow. 
Didn't need the ankle anyways. in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Ooh, let's go find out. Hey, Max. What? You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? It's not really that simple, but yes, fine. Anything else? If that's the case, is it my purpose to annoy you or yours to be annoyed by me? Go away. You can't deny fate, Vicar. Hey there. And let's go turn the robots on, see if we can clean them out. I was debating. We need the money. Badly. Oh, we can't. Oh, I was hoping we could redo it. the last of them. Ooh, nice. So we can instigate it. Here we go. We are just that good. Yes, and I need the XP and the money. Let's do it. Be right there. Coming over to you. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that. I'm going. Here we go! Don't mess with us! On my way. Alright, well. More money, more XP. That was good. And we left the sanitation bot. Where are we headed today, Captain? The star. Yes, the stars are the limit. And we 
probably forget to change your clothes again. And we return to turn in the quest. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. DPS that we've found and having all the characters wielding those would probably be helpful. Uh, where was the other... Nah, don't do that to me. I said, where are the other vending machines? But I guess we will go without for now. Well, let's see if she has any decent weapons. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to receive that video card or something. Is it cooler in here? Strikes me as a short range. Weapon range 25, scope, mag size, super scope. I do like super scope. Now I would like to hit those rate of fires, put those on the heavy. I was told that I can get some of your uh, special stock, and I just thought I'd see what you had available. Yeah, you know, just in case there's something we want to trade for. Would you mind showing me what you have? Uh, hello. Uh, Junlei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? Trading would be nice. Thank you. CNP Borsten Baked Beans. When you need to eat and run, Borsten Baked Beans is the only one. Oh, wow. Hey, saw your messages. 
at a station. Yeah, we got it all reconnected. You should be good to go. Guy shot himself there and had turned it off. It looked like my comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Mm, more or less. Here's your backup. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Certainly. I like the XP. Eh. It's could have been a little better. But that's alright. I do like the improved uh, relations. That's nice. I am revered by three groups now. That's fun. Hey, do you have any... You have armor. Can I see if you have any armor that's worth acquiring? Or you just kind of got the general crap that I've found already. Hey, look who it is. What'll it be? Just out of curiosity, are you a spacer or not? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. Go on. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Nice. Well done. Let me see what you got. Melee weapons. Meh. Armor reading. Three. Carrying capacity. Tech skill. All right. 26. Yes. Nine. Wow. Six armor. Yeah. 14. 14. 26 is good. I believe for others were 27, but, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Armad Ballistics. Medical 5. Back helmet. I'm not so fond of the leather. Let's see, crit chance, N-ray melee, N-ray armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Might try that one, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell what they look like here. Kind of wish you could do a preview button, like click it and actually see it on your character. Or even on just a mannequin. So that's the only one worthwhile. Later. You've been following that series? The hunt for the world. I can't believe it's not for it. It's unbelievable how What? Could do the other mission. Anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, you didn't have anything that great, and with some vending machines here we can quickly check. Oh yeah. Forty one. Ooh, nice. This is 
46. Yeah, 41, I was going to say. I think what we found was better. It was 41 on armor and torso. Technically, we'd only need two and then keep two weaker ones. We could have done, we could do that, the whole swap off. use our hunter's kit and electro charge but that is a lot more armor I think I'll do that I'll keep a couple helmets and just swap them out We can just throw these on them as backup. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, four for nothing. Nope. Uh, nope. And we left them on the ship. So one of them should have. All right. 
Alright, we're just gonna save then. Or sell them. While you were out, I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Wow, nice. All right, so we need to put those back on and then. Doesn't do us good. things we can do.